Henry Jackson Foundation was uh, founded by a uh, act of Congress, which is very unusual. In fact, we're, we're uh, one of a kind one organization. We're a nonprofit organization that was founded in 1983. And the primary purpose of it was to support the U.S. military medical school in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, once that uh, act was uh, actually it, uh, incorporated and President Reagan went and signed it, about six months after that, the fellow that was championed or sponsored it through Congress, an uh, individual by the name of Henry M. Jackson, and he was a senator from uh, Washington State, passed away. Congress uh, reconvened and basically renamed the foundation. The original name of the foundation was the Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine. They renamed it to the Henry M. Jackson Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine uh, in honor of Scoop Jackson. Since that time, of course, they started out, it was their small organization, uh, again, nonprofit, had about three or four individuals working for it. They did a couple uh, small projects. And then about 1988 time frame, the uh, now what is called the uh, MHRP program, uh, avian, or correction, uh, HIV program came about. And the foundation was uh, successful in, in winning that award. And since that time, the foundation has grown from there again, the two or three folks initially, to right now we have over 2,300 uh, individuals uh, working worldwide on over 1,000 programs. Now these programs are uh, ranging from the size to small grants, to large cooperative agreements, to its contracts. And uh, so as, again, we, we've moved along, uh, we've expanded, uh, and our primary focus, and our only focus, has been all along is medical research and support primarily of the military. In 2003, the leadership of the foundation decided that we needed an organization to, to strictly focus on our overseas commitments and, uh, and programs. And they basically founded the HJF MRI or the full name is actually HJF Medical Research International. But again, it goes by the small, uh, the short name of HJF MRI. And again, that has grown, uh, and it's currently we have uh, uh, HJF MRI is registered in nine, country, or nine countries, uh, primarily here in Africa. We also are registering, uh, prepping to register in uh, Jordan, and we are so registered in the uh, Republic of Georgia. Uh, other than that, let me just uh, let you know, we'll focus a little bit about here in Africa because that's why we have this regional office. Uh, back in 2007, uh, again, Foundation uh, decided to do a little more work and we thought, well, let's come up with a regional office to be centered in Nairobi. At that time, the Foundation leadership said, well, we're not quite ready to uh, put a full-fledged regional office in. But we did at that time, we, we stood up a two uh, corporate liaison individuals, one in Kenya and one in Tanzania, where the predominance of our programs were. August of 2015, when I was over here on one of my trips, uh, Bahan came up to me and says, hey, we need a uh, regional office. I said, hmm, that sounds familiar. <laughs> so uh, in essence, uh, again, expanding the, the opportunities of new programs coming on board. And one of those programs is one we're working on currently right now in the uh, Kissian area with CDC and, of course, Kimry and working down that. The reason why we took that on primarily was, again, if you think about it for a second, we were really focused only on military programs. This is one of our first major programs that we've taken on in that aspect. But the reason, one of the reasons why the leadership and our, and our board of directors decided to do that was because it, it really was uh, similar to what we're doing for the military partnerships. It was uh, the scope of work and things of this nature are very similar and compatible 
to what we were doing there. Well, with that, we felt, because we also have some other uh, aspects coming down the road here, especially here in Africa, that we needed, we needed to stand up the regional office. So in October of uh, this year, or correction, last year, uh, the leadership uh, made a decision to stand up the office. Uh, I called Bohan back and I said, okay, get working. And so between October of last year and today, uh, Bahan and his very limited staff, I wouldn't, I, you know, I was kind of stingy out there. I didn't give him too many people to work with. But he and his staff worked days, nights, and weekends to put together the office and to bring up the work. Now, oftentimes somebody's going to say, well, what, are you, what are you going to do with this office? Well, the office is primarily here to support, again, all our programs. As I mentioned, we're uh, registered to do business in nine African countries, and that will be our focus of this office, to work not only here in Nairobi, but it also branch out to our other uh, facilities and other programs in the uh, other, other countries.